Hello again, I'm Pierre Banks. Well, after over a week of R and R, the Mountaineers are back in action on Saturday as they travel to Atlanta to take on the Georgia State Panthers. Both teams come into this one five and one in Sunbelt play and make up half of the four-way tie at the top of the conference. And with only two games left in the season, this one could go a long way in deciding who will come out at the end of the season as Sunbelt champions. You know, defensively, you see our defense. I mean, that's that's the first thing that starts out, stands off is um, just what they do defensively. The odd front, um, they do a great job of keeping everything in front of them, not getting up to big play. I think that's first and foremost, and they're great run stoppers. And then offensively, Penny Hart's one of the best receivers uh, out there, and uh, the quarterback's playing at a high level, and uh, that's how they're scoring points and moving the ball. You know, that's probably the main thing is uh, is the way they throw the football offensively, and then defensively, how they just eliminate your big plays. Oh, I see. A, a well-balanced team that can throw the ball, run the ball. They like to uh, get their playmakers in space and use one-on-one -on -one matchups to their advantage, like try to get their slots matched up on linebackers and safeties and just try to get them four or five yards and keep moving. Turnovers is very important, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to give their crowd any momentum or allow people to feel a certain sense of uh, urgency. So if we go out there and do what we do, not turn over the ball, and no, no stupid penalties, we'll, we'll come out with the victory. You know, it's it's a little special. Obviously, you're playing a lot of guys you know on that side of the football, and, and of course, Sean. You know, together with with him for a long time playing and coaching. Um, when you when you when you kick it off, though, it's it's at State versus Georgia State. You know, we're going to try to get a win. He, he is too. Um, you know, at the end of the game, uh, you know, you shake hands and move on. Um, you know, with the rest of the season. The Mountaineers will face a very solid Georgia State team on Saturday, led by quarterback Connor Manning, who's third in Sunbelt play with just under 2,400 yards through the air. Almost 1,000 of those yards goes to the Sunbelt's top receiver in Penny Hart. If the Mountaineers can bottle up Hart and make Manning uncomfortable in the pocket, they'll be okay defensively. They just have to play mistake-free football in the other two phases of the game. But the story in this one, could be the two head coaches, Sean Elliott and Scott Satterfield, who spent a ton of time together here on the mountain. First as teammates, as they were a part of arguably one of the best teams in program history back in 95. Then on the offensive coaching staff underneath Jerry Moore, where they accounted for three national championships and countless conference titles. And now as their first meeting head to head as head coaches, it could decide the 2017 Sunbelt champion. Please join us for all of our pre-Georgia State coverage, as well as joining myself and the voice of the Mountaineers, Adam Witten, as our pregame coverage begins at 12 p.m. this week on AppStateSports.com. For App Vision, I'm Pierre Banks. Fans, follow your Mountaineers on social media for exclusive content on everything App State, including up-to-date news, behind-the-scenes photos and videos, and compelling stories involving Appalachian State athletics.